Alrighty, welcome back. Um, I'll be honest, it's been like weeks since I played this. Um, probably not going to look like weeks on the upload schedule, but I recorded a lot of episodes ahead of time and then went out of town for like a week and it's just been a long time and I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, yep, yeah, so I guess I'll just go try and get the super soft because if I was in the middle of other side quests I don't remember them um, and it's too late now because by the time any of y'all are like oh you idiot you were doing the blah 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 I'd be like yep yeah, well you only know that because it's already uploaded to YouTube so what am I going to do about it right anywho back in Trino um we're gonna go find Marcus and Baku and, um, right. And we're gonna break into someone's house and steal Supersoft to save Blank, our friend Blank. No, I'm not gonna rest. Buzz off. Hey there, Marcus. We're ready to retrieve the Supersoft. Good, at last we can save Blank. When do we leave? We can leave right away. So you're coming along, huh? Are you ready? Uh, my guess. Let's go. Princess. Oh, good. Princess, please wait. Boss is waiting at the dock. Boss, you mean? Uh-oh, guys sneeze. You mean? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, that was, oh, that was a doozy. Yep, yeah, there's only one, more, one man one call boss. One man he calls bro, one man he calls boss. I think Marcus just doesn't remember people's names. All right, here we go. Running, running. Princess, please wait. All right. It may be a trap. You cannot trust criminals. Will you please hear my canceling back? No, piss off. Princess, think of the consequences. You are a princess. If the queen hears about this. Princess, do you know that breaking an entrance is crime? I need to make sure you don't steal anything else. Ah, sure, she's a moral compass. Let's go. Damn it, I am coming along. It is my duty to protect the princess from bad influence. Do whatever you want. Always talking about your duty. Ain't you got any thoughts of your own? Don't you talk back to me. I am escorting the princess. I thought you might have changed after traveling with Zidane, but... Mm -hmm. You ain't changed... Do you even know why we're here? What? What do you mean? Let's just go, okay? Please don't antagonize him. He's a very, very simple child. How was Bermisha? I don't remember his voice. Not bad. Better if I didn't have to see those vermin and the ugly elephant lady. They offend my senses. You must be tired. It's not over yet. The rest of the vermin must be done away with. Will you be heading to Clara then? Yes, I trust you will deliver them. Certainly, I shall prepare now. The pronoun game. By the way, did you see a pretty lady in the crowd today? A pretty lady? Shall I arrange a meeting? There's no need. The canary I've been after, she flew into my cage of her own free will. Question mark, sir? Never would I have imagined running into you in a place like this. It must be fate. Or maybe you also like to gamble away your money at the auction house. But you cannot rest your wings yet. Fly home to your mother, my little canary. I, too, will welcome you home with open arms. They ran out of budget to animate that part, so they had to just slap some screen up on the text. This is peaceful. It's quiet. A little Venetian gondola ride. Marcus, get the fuck out of the way. I'm talking here. What in the world am I doing? I hope, Miss Garnet. I am assisting. <laughs> it wasn't. I am assisting thieves in committing a crime. No. I must be patient. Protect the princess, escort her back to the castle, focus on your duties, and then kill the criminals. Trust the queen, she would never commit an atrocity. 
there must be a good reason. No thoughts of my own. Why, I never thought about that. Nonsense. How can I, a lowly knight, understand the queen's thinking? I need not worry about the ramblings of a criminal. Just think about escorting the princess home. I'll probably never see him again. He was a culprit. He put the princess and me into his. It was your fault, Sedan. If you hadn't treated him like a child, I wouldn't be here hunting after Supersoft to save one of your friends. Everyone's thinking about Zidane. Why am I doing this? Because Blank saved me? Yes, he saved me. He saved my life. The least I can do is return the favor. But I never thought about things like this before. How are we to find Supersoft in this mountain of boxes? Just find it. They really shouldn't have let Steiner come along if this is a stealth mission, you know? <gasps> what? Something's coming. Because he just clinks and clinks everywhere he goes. Oh, I can't believe I ran out of ink on a night like this. I must find more ink and go back to the observatory. Shall I take care of him? Jesus, Marcus. Wait. Princess, no. Hmm? Y you're... I've missed you, Dr. Tot. Little tater tot. But Princess. Princess Garnet. Dr. Tot? I don't know what that voice was. That wasn't Steiner's voice. It just, it just came out. Dr. Tot? Yeah, this is. You know him? Dr. Tot is a highly respected scholar who tutted the prince. I can't have no. I'm stuck in Dr. Tot's voice now. Ah. <clears throat> I can't. Yeah, I'll just give it. Come back to it later. Ah, Mr. Steiner, you must be quieter. You'll wake up the shopkeeper. But, Princess, what on earth are you doing here? It's a long story. We're looking for Super Soft right now, and we're stealing it. There is a proper reason for this. We are not here to steal or commit any form of crime. Somebody down there? <gasps> Run along. I'll give you the Super Soft later. Go left from the Trino entrance and continue until you find a large tower. The tower is my home. It's locked, but I shall unlock the door and await your arrival. All right, let's go back. Thank you, Dr. Tot. I'll see you later. Oh, it's you, Dr. Tot. Ah, great timing. I ran out of ink. You should have called me. I'll get yelled at after inventory is wrong. Yeah, Dr. Tot, you selfish prick. Princess. So, this Tootsie's gonna give us super soft. It's taut. Ah, shoot. Whatever. I can't believe Tantalus is at the mercy of some old man. Hmm. Guess we gotta keep babysitting the princess. Still? He ain't gonna give you the super soft unless you're at the princess. That's the deal, princess. I'm asking you to take Marcus to this too. It's tall. I was going to anyway. Well, get some rest before you go. I'm sure Ted needs time to prepare. It's tall. It's not a hard name. It's actually an exceedingly simple name. Um, we're just gonna, just in case, take all of Marcus's stuff and shove it. Oh, hold on. There's a thing there. There's a thing with the thing. This is a thing. Um... I feel happier for throwing 10 gil in. Do I have enough gil? Yeah, I've got enough gil. All right, so there's uh, I don't remember how much it is. I feel happier after you throw in enough <laughs> gil. I know I look like a loon. After you throw in enough gills, it's like you get a, a thing. I can't remember what the thing is, but something happens. Um, so you just have to keep throwing in gil. And uh, any day now, something's gonna happen uh, or I'll run out of money. That guy's standing there like, wow, this girl, you could give that money to me, you know? All these poor people in town, I'm just throwing, what is this, like a hundred now at this point? Um, oh my god, I really hope I remember this right. Oh, aha, another coin appeared, Gemini. I can go give that to the bird lady too. In fact, I should probably go do that right now. 
before I go talk to Toot. Tater Tot. Little Tit. Um, this is the third, third or fourth coin I've collected for her. Gemini. That's my birth thing. Birth, what do you call it? Sign? Birth sign? Zodiac thing? Um, yes, I have Gemini. I will give you my Gemini. Right, yeah, my coin. Give it to me. Right. Put it in the cage. Goes cage in the back. Oh, come on. Take my reward. Right. Oh, that is a good one. Unfortunately, um, I think the blood sword, it doesn't say, this is one of those things about RPGs where it's like, it doesn't tell you this, but I think the blood sword actually takes health. Like it does whatever damage to the enemy, it absorbs that as health. But I've got to learn armor break before I can equip anything else. Blah, blah, because that's how the game goes. Anyway, over to, over to little toot. Little toot was just a tug, just a happy harbor tug. And it came from a line of tugboats, fine and gray. That's a uh, little toot the tugboat blast from the past. Oh. He's just standing there. Dr. Tut. Musing, looking at the full moon. Maybe he's a little werewolf. What if he turns into like a tiny little that sized werewolf? <clears throat> Princess, thank you for coming. Welcome to my humble abode. This is your home? This sucks. This is terrible. I traveled quite far in search of a sponsor for my research after I departed Alexandria. I finally found one here in Trino. You have grown into a fine young woman. I am pleased to see you again. Dr. Tut, you look quite well. Ah, Master Steiner, you are escorting the princess? Yes, sir. I deeply regret my earlier actions. Still a straight arrow, aren't you? I'm sure you had your reasons, but I won't ask why. The super soft is in the box right there. Please take it. I'd already stealing it before you got there. Don't mind if I do. Have you no manners? Thank the good doctor. It's quite all right, Master Steiner. Now I can save my bro. I can't believe I must travel with a lowly criminal. Master Tut, is this Gaia? Yes, it's a globe of our planet, Gaia. I remember your lessons. You remember the ramblings of an old fool who can't pronounce their R's. Flashback. Two phrases are commonly found in documents more than 500 years old. One is jewel, the other is summoner tribe. And it makes for really boring reading. But 500 years ago, the phrase has mysteriously vanished from history. The archaeologist Frederick Ashe theorized that Jewel refers to the pendant passed down to the rule of Alexandria. Oh my god, history lesson. But the pendant, it is much too small to be referring to the same Jewel. Other research suggests a relationship between Eidolons and magical stones. Dot, dot. Cute. Ah, princess! He literally hasn't aged a day. Were you reading big books again? <laughs> I've already read every book in this library, but I think better when I'm surrounded by old books. Really? I don't like books. You are a person of dignity. It's imperative that you study hard. Otherwise, you'll never rise to the elitist uh, requirements that culture provides for you. I know, I know. Oh, but I was quite taken by that book you gave me. What, what was it called? It was... What is it? I Wanna Be Your Canary by Lord Avon? Oh, yes, that's the one. So there is a book I like after all. My, my. What's this, Dr. Tot? That is a globe of Gaia. It's a model of our planet. A Gaia globe? I never knew our castle was shaped like a sphere. Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> we live on the surface, princess. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm four. Ah, yes, the stars. They inspired the theories relating stones and eidolons. She gets it. Look directly at the pendant. 
That is why... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was lost in thought again. It's okay. Where's my room on this globe? Oh, your room is much too small to point out on this globe. What about the castle? That I can do. And Uncle Sid's castle? His castle's even bigger. How long has it been? Eight years? Oh, really? So she was eight in that? That's a tiny eight-year-old. And he should probably have a few gray hairs, right? Time passes quickly. But I haven't changed. I continue to collect and research these items. Where did you find this globe? It's massive. Seriously, where did you find this? It's an antique. It's broken, as you can see, but I use it as an observation deck. Yes, but where is it from, Tot? Answer the question. Who had a globe the size of a house? Ironic, isn't it? Looking up at the sky from inside a globe. It sure is, I, I guess. I mean, sort of like 10,000 spoons when all you need is a fork, but uh, looking up at the sky is ironic too, I guess. Princess, I don't mean to meddle in your affairs, but... I am on your side, now and forever. Please tell me if there's anything I can do. Dr. Tot! Tot! Dr. Tot! Inflection goes down, not a question mark. I see. So the Queen's forces have already grown quite powerful. Okay then, it may be dangerous, but I shall see to it that you reach Alexandria. How? I had an old transportation device remodeled in the case of such an emergency. This way, please. Hey, we can finally return to Alexandria. I'm coming with you. What? Why? I can reach Blank more easily from Alexandria. You idiot. Yes, come with us, Marcus. Okay, Steiner. Mm -hmm. Let's go save Blank and restore my mother to her former self. It's as easy as one, two, three. Um, all right, guess we're done in Trino for now. We'll come back later. Later. Dr. Tot, you like to play cards? Ah, oh, you'd like to play a card game with me? Let us play, only if you have something good. If you don't have anything good, we can forget this. Silly. I did get a couple new cards. Um, not that anybody except me cares. But I did. And hopefully I'll get some more new ones. Oh my god, I want it. Um, how do I get that? Take it. Piece of cake. All right. Whoops, I wasn't even looking at that. No, okay. Now I have to, have to, have to, have to beat it. Yes. All right. No. Give it back. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Awesome. This is good because it has an X. So instead of an M for magic and a P for physical, X does... It just bypasses whatever the other... Um, whatever the other card has. So like if the other card has magic defense, it'll bypass it to go to the physical attack. It has physical defense, it'll bypass and go to the magic attack. Please be equipped for battle. There are monsters on the ground. Please take the ladder inside the hole down when you're... Please take the ladder inside the hole down when you're ready. The hole down. Take the hole down. All right. Are we, uh, yep. 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 And Marcus has nothing. I'll give him, I guess I'll give him the worst stuff. He can have something. Not nothing. Can't have that. No, that's my moonstone. Get out of here, Marcus. Oh. God shit, my abilita. Um, none of these are gonna matter. But I guess I might as well. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. Um, a beast killer, probably. An alert will be helpful. Yeah. Anybody, bright eyes? Sure. Probably, probably good. All right, down we go. Leapt onto the ladder. Gargan-Roo! This is gargan Roo, an ancient travel route between Trino and Alexandria. Why was this thing built under a tower? Actually, gargan Roo was in use long before even the invention of airships. The tower is built on top of the disused tunnel. But it looks fairly new. 
I convinced Mr. Bishop to keep this place intact. I haven't used it since it was remodeled, mind you. We must first activate the tunnel connection sequence and call the Gargant inside. Let's see, where was the sequence trigger? So all we have to do is find the sequence trigger. Princess, let us find it. Oh, thank you, Steiner. You bring a lot to the party. You really... What would we do without you? Mochos. That's a, a chocolate moogle. Mochos. Safe, please. Let us save, Kupo. <clears throat> Can't show I'm getting out of here. All right. One of these places has a ooh treasure. Chain plate. Yeah, probably good. More treasure. Uh, this is something cool. I wonder what I did. Pull the lever, Croc. All right, he's still thinking, so go over here. Um, feed. That's probably the last thing I do once I get the bug in here. A gargant is a gargantuan ant. Ah, this is it. This is where we call the gargant inside. Wh what do you mean? Gargant root trino station is shaped like a circle. When you pull on that lever, Gargant circles around the station continuously. I don't understand what you're saying. I, you're using words, but I don't know why you order them that way. Better to show than tell. Princess, will you pull that on? Pull on that lever over there. Yes, I will. <laughs> what is it? That's a monster. It's a friendly beast, though. It comes with a carriage. What's that? Put two and two together, guard it. Ah, perfect timing. That is the Gargant. Of course it's perfect timing. I just pulled the chain. Isn't that what the point was? A giant insect that pulls this trolley. Next, we must halt the Gargant. All right. Now you're going to look with me to see if this giant insect, in fact, in fact, has six legs and three segmented body portions. Yes, that's the one. The Gargant should stop when you pull on the lever. All right. Pull. Hey, Gargant, you like um, corn or a, a tulip or whatever the hell that is? All right, can we see it? He's got one, two, three, four, six. All right, six legs, yeah. Please hurry, it will zoom once it's finished eating. Just an imperfect system, I guess. Are you sure it won't keep going around in circles? It won't. I will reverse the connection sequence and let the Gargant out of the station. Let it out of the station? It's crawling of its own free will. It's going to go where it wants. Please look after the princess, Master Steiner. Yeah, of course. The princess is bright, but she is still young and naive. I'm concerned about her safety. Please make your own decision on the matter at hand and protect her. I am but a humble knight. I cannot exceed my authority. Is that an honest answer? You may endanger the princess if you keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Foreshadowing. I shall take note of your counsel. Fare you well, princess. Take care, Dr. Todd. I must hurry. Otherwise, they'll go in circles forever because I don't really have to hurry. I just pull the lever. Poor little short guy. And somehow, in spite of coming in and going in a circle, it's going to go out the same way it came in. Be safe, princess. Uh, one, two, I guess you call it three body segments. It's got wings. Those tiny wings are not going to support it. Finally. We can reach Alexandria now. You can't even see Trino anymore. You couldn't see it before. It's all above you. I wonder how long it's going to take. I never dreamed of going home in a vehicle like this on account of me being royalty. Dr. Tat remains in unique character. <gasps> What's wrong? It's hesitating. But we're not going to look. Why would we look where we're going? <gasps> oh no, I turned around. Whoop. Oh, that's just ground. You can just walk to Alexandria. Princess. A worm. Could this be the... Re oh, could this be the reason? No. Probably a coincidence. 
Gargant realized it left the stove on at home as the worm appeared. That's totally unrelated, really. But fighting a boss with a white mage, a knight, and a throwaway character that I took all the good equipment off of is not my idea of a good time. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, Marcus, do something good. That's the opposite. You gotta, gotta steal something. Dude, you got one job. Devil's kiss. Get a little kiss. Oh, kiss from the devil. You missed. Stole a bone wrist. Oh, oh, that's a horrible image. The wrist has like 13 bones. Which which one did you steal, Marcus? Also, how did you steal a bone wrist from a worm? That's the real question. Oh, little devil's kiss. Couldn't steal nothing. Mm-mm. Ba -da. Uh, now we play the waiting game, I guess. Stwing! Hmm. A little wrapped up right now, huh? I have no idea how much health this guy has. I'm just gonna keep attacking with Steiner, and if I steal the good stuff, so be it. And if I don't, so be that. Oh, snap! Steiner! No, come back. I don't have life. Good thing I have 14 of these things. Mithril fork. Hot diggity dog. Good job, Marcus. I regret not giving you any armor now. You seem like a good a good egg. There was a period of probably several weeks a while back. Um doesn't have anything. Dope. Um where I could not remember the term good egg. And I knew it was a good and then something with food. And I came with like good apple, good pineapple, good melon. I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't come up with good egg. And then, you know, and let's be honest, it doesn't make any sense, right? Why, why, why egg? Why a good egg? Where does that phrase come from? Riddle me this, you know? If I wasn't in the boss fight, I'd look it up. Escape! Oh! Well, whatever. I stole the stuff. What a weenie. A little purple, wriggly weenie running away from a fight. I guess it was scripted. We're finally here! I think the Gargant is tired, too. On a kind of walking... Like, what does a Gargant do all day? Can it get off of that? I never knew such a place existed in Alexandria. I have too many questions about the Gargant. Where are we? Let's keep moving. Ah, too many questions. All right, cool. Bottomless pit, safe. Is this really Alexandria? Well, it must be. The Gargant came, obviously. Bixby, no, stop. Whoops, somehow I activated Bixby on my phone and she is all perked up and ready to go. How do we get out? Mm, well, this way. The way we didn't come. Princess Liz, make haste. There's like the three stooges here. Wait, Steiner. I know this place. Dr. Tot told me about this place. My ancestors built this place. To, my ancestors? That's a weird way to say that. Built this place to keep enemies from invading. Dr. Tot also said. Princess, we can hear your stories later. Oh, Steiner. God bless you. We'd be better off without you. The stale air cannot be good for us. Yep, that's the greatest risk. Uh, we gotta save Blank. Marcus doesn't give a two flips about anyone else. Right, we need to hurry. Poor Dagger. Just a couple of mansplaining assholes on either side of her when she was trying to do the right thing, use her knowledge to assess the situation. This is one of those examples like, well, women were ruled the world. Let's go, Steiner. Whoops. You! What kind of trick is this? I didn't do anything. Don't blame me. This is your chance, y'all. You really didn't do anything? You don't believe me? Look, we missed our chance to escape. Marcus, you could have just taken one step back and been fine. Yeah. They fell for it. Mm, fell for it, they did. Thorn, Thorn. 
I am Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto. I have returned. Let us out at once. Hmm, too bad it is. Mm, you're all under arrest. Zorn. Thorn. I've returned to Alexandria to speak with my mother. Take me to my mother. Yes, we will take you to see Queen Bran, whether you like it or not. Capture Princess Garnet, Queen Bran said. Ordered as she did. What? Why is Coach Gun? I can't read all that. What's going on? Marcus just. I don't. What? I just want to help my friend. I thought it was frozen there for a second. Oh, yeah. Remember these guys? Can you stand, Freya? It is nothing. Take it easy, okay? How about you, Vivi? Yeah, I'm alright. So, uh, not you, Queen. Nobody cares about you. What now, people? They said they were going to Clara. We have no choice. We must go to Clara, too. I knew you'd say that. You coming, Vivi? I, I can't go anywhere by myself. I'm too short. Do you think we'll learn more about those black mages if we go to Clara? Yeah, I'd say we'll learn a lot about them as long as we follow Bronn and that Kuja guy. Then I'm with you. Clara? Sound yummy. I go with you. Oh, and what about the princess? Dagger? I'd never forget about her. She might not be here in Bermisha, but I know we'll find her soon. Well, let's move out. Some say it lies in the desert west of Bermisha, but I know not whether we can enter the town itself. Brighten up a little. We'll figure it out when we get there. Oh, Dagger, where could you be? We'll figure out together next time. I'll see you then. Bye!